Estás viendo Canal América, Televisión Dominicana para el Mundo. A Time for True Show is sponsored by the office of Dr. Bernard Fiakoff, a periodontal, dental implant and laser specialist in New York City, for over 40 years. Dr. Fiakoff was honored by the International College of Dentists and Pierre Fauchard, and received the Presidential Lifetime Humanitarian Honor from the White House. Call us at 718-229-3838. Sometimes life can be so damn hard You don't know where to go Everything keeps falling apart Try to do your best, but only God knows that you've given everything you've got, but the world takes you down. You just keep moving on at your feet. Welcome to a time for true show. I'm your host, Dr. Bernard Fialkoff, and it's a pleasure to have you back with us again today. And before we start, I want to answer a question that many have asked is, how do I subscribe? Where do I get more shows? So it's very simple. You go on YouTube, you click on a time for true show, hit the subscribe button, and you'll be availed of all the last episodes and programs that we've had over the last few years. And uh, tonight, we're going to delve into something that's been going on in our world. And it's been very disconcerting. It's been very uh, stressful. It's been causing a lot of confusion in many communities as they're looking to see what to do, what manner to handle the violence, the social unrest, uh, the economic stresses, and there's been a lot of changes. Uh, our culture uh, seems to be changing very rapidly. And so a lot of the stability that we've had uh, seems to be eroding. I say eroding because, you know, sometimes stability is important. If you're going to build a house, you know, as I say, you can't build it on quicksand. You have to have a good foundation. And when you have a good foundation, you can build a skyscraper. You can go long distances. You can build bridges over chasms. But without a foundation, you get tremendous amount of destruction. And you have disasters, accidents, death, and things that we want to avoid. So in today's world, there's been confusion as to how to address this. And because we've advanced so much technologically, it seems that a lot of the solutions that have been offered have been technological. What do I mean by that? Well, brain stimulators. I think years ago, if somebody said that they were going to drill holes into the brain to put in electronic stimulators to modify human behavior, he would have been looked at as some type of villain. But somehow in today's world, it almost seems normal or advanced or the latest technology to drill a hole, go into the brain, and actually modify someone. Really almost, I look at it as almost modifying them, not as a human being, with their own determinism, with their own ability to decide, but as a robot. And so we had to take a look also at some of the chemical or medicinal solutions for things that seem to be really more emotional or human or spiritual. I'll give you an example without getting into names, so preserve the confidentiality. But I had a woman who was a patient of mine one time, and um, she'd come to me for many, many years. 
I won't give you her name. And unfortunately, she lost her husband of 50 years. And she was about 79 or 80 years old. And so when she lost him and she came in, she was very sad, which is normal to lose your husband of about 50 years and to be 79, 80 years of age. You would think that any responsible person would realize she's going to be sad. In all of our religions, we have time of mourning because it's been recognized that she would need time emotionally, time spiritually to recover. But lo and behold, when I saw her again, a few months later, she came walking into my office and she looked like a zombie. I was aghast and I asked one of her family members what had happened. And I thought maybe she had a stroke, but no. What happened is they had put her on different medications and lithium. And so she wasn't really there anymore. She wasn't sad, but was she alive? Because she looked like a zombie. I felt horrible. I felt very upset. And then she came back three months later again. And I thought that a movie that I had seen when I was young, which was One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, was something that was antiquated. It was with Jack Nicholson. And it was about electric shock in these hospitals. But I thought it was something of the past. Little did I realize that it was being done in modern time. And when she came in, this time she was even worse because she came in and she was totally in a trance. Hello, Dr. Fialco. I was very, very sad, upset, and confused at the same time. Because supposedly my realm was not as a surgeon to get involved in the mental aspect of other people's lives. But I looked at myself, inside myself, and I said, but you know, there should be some humanity in what we're doing. This woman lost her husband of 50 years. How was that a chemical problem? Why was a drug addressed to something emotional. Why wasn't someone speaking with her and trying to get her over it and giving her courage to go on? Or maybe buying her an animal, a cat, or a dog, or a parakeet, or maybe suggesting she move into a different home. I was really confused. And so today, I'm sharing this show with a great friend of mine, Rafael Bomba Brito, who is a tremendously well-known commentator, talk show host, entertainer, singer, composer. And he and I have discussed what's going on in our world. And before I uh, let him discuss a question I'm going to give him, I want to actually put on the alternative or the alternatives that have actually been coming out in the scientific realm from different institutions on options to these treatments of medication, shock, stimulation of brain. And let's take a look at the first image uh, engineer, Buddha, if you will, and leave this on. And I want actually to at this point ask my guest tonight, Bomba Brito, to comment on this. You know, this, this slide showing, which was a study showing the physical activity releases endorphins. Endorphins being the body's natural happy chemicals. The body has happy chemicals. When the body has a good event, when it does a good sport, when it sings a great song, when it dances with uh, someone that they have a lot of affection for, when they're with a family at a great family function, there are endorphins that the body releases that makes we all of us feel happy. They're normal in the body. The body has normal ability to feel good. And sometimes like the woman who lost her husband, there's great sadness 
when there's been a great loss, but that's normal. And the body is warning us or the body is rewarding us for positive behavior. And it's found that these endorphins reduce stress. They reduce the hormone called cortisol, which causes obesity, which causes many harmful effects in the body and is associated with stress. And the sports are associated with lower stress. The sports are associated with lower anxiety, with lower depression, with lowering suicide. And the participation in teams, now you have a community within that team and the sports and you have all these different facets that release even more endorphins in the body. And if we come on back live engineer here on the screen, and I want to actually give a chance as we come back to the studio. I first, I want to welcome Bomba Brito Bomba. Thank you very much, my friend, Dr. Bernard Fialco. Thank you for inviting me to your program. It's a pleasure. It's, to true. it's a pleasure to always have you because your insights and your ability to see things is so great. And I want to ask you what we were just showing, if you would comment on that. About the how people uh, feeling, how the people are supposed to, to act in, uh, in front of the different problems that make feel people bad. Or you, you want to speak about the exercise, the activity, people, people do it to get better? Well, you know, I want to leave it open for you where we can speak about what's going on in our world. It seems like we have some behavior that's not positive. We have violence. We have people unhappy. We have people taking drugs to solve that. We have different treatments being given out to solve that with brain stimulations. And, and it almost seems like we're losing humanity. But then I brought this example from sports because now it's on the other side showing something that we can do very naturally. So I wanted to ask your opinion because I know that you've spoken about this. You know, the world, the people is living uh, very individual in the world now. And that's a big problem because when you live individual, individual and you don't think with the rest of the people and you don't work together with the community, with the human being, uh, with, uh, with uh, society, different people, you do everything in your way. Let me tell you what happened. The world, the people don't go nowhere. We don't follow any rule now in this life. We don't listen nothing. We don't listen to nobody. Everybody is living and thinking in his own way. So we got to work like community. We got to work together. We got to speak. We got to discuss different points, you know, to try to work together. Everybody is living individual. Everybody is point is reason to live. No, no, no combination, no community. So we got to work together and let know and tell to the people you experience about life. We need practice the love. We need to work together with the young people. We have to, to, to preach about rules, about the, the best way to live the world. Because we live in now, now 2023. 20, and I remember when my grandma started to, to show me some points in this life and she never been in the school. She never been in the school. And she, she started to tell me many, many, many things that I remember now. And that's made the way in my life. So nobody listened to nobody. You were speaking every day uh, in this program. Christian people is speaking in the street, is preaching in the street about the behave, about how people can do better, working together, listen God, you know, try to do something different. But the problem is, like I said before, everybody is living individual. We got to work together. We have to bring the family. We have to bring the people to understand what we can do, you know, like team to, to do everything better. Church, exercise, dance, sing, be together, but we got to keep the same, the same, the same brain and we got to think in the same way because why we have so many war? Why we don't have no peace? Why we have so many leaders now and the internet and they doing something very ugly, very wrong? It's, and many people is followed, millions of people, you know, 
Right. It's fallen, that, that's people. Why? Because we are empty. So if we don't meet together and try to discover the point and the situation that going to help the community and the human being to do it better, we're never going to get it. That's the matter you speak every day. That's the matter uh, the, the pastor in the church trying to explain to the people on the street what's the best way to live. Nobody's listening to anything. It's people is trying to get the easy. People is trying. People want to listen beautiful words, but not really words. People want everything quick and easy. We don't use in the brain. We follow false leaders. Leaders. We don't have our own way and way to things in this world. So if you speak and I don't listen. We don't get it. If you show the best role, the best way to do things and nobody listen or people listen, listen, but just listen. Don't do anything. Don't respond to anything. We're never going to get it. It's very true. And, you know, I was going to ask you something because you've interviewed so many important and successful people. And I was going to ask you during those years, if there was maybe one or two that really you remember always because of the way they did things in their life and their attitude, did you have anybody like that that you just you, you felt they were an unbelievable human being? I don't get the, the question. You know, like you, so many years you've interviewed yeah. so many different people. Yeah. And in our world today, people are looking for success. But sometimes you wonder, well, how are they measuring success? And you've entered so many, you've interviewed so many people. Have there been some that you've interviewed that you looked at them and said, wow, this person, not only are they successful, but look at everything else they do in their life. And how do they do so much? You know, so we can share with the viewers what you've seen as a host. And your knowledge of when you interview someone, why you think they were really successful. Why that person went so much higher than what most people think they can ever do. That's a little mystery sometimes, you know, because uh, you, you can always get, you know, what do it, what help people to be uh, successful and how people get at the high level. It's very, very mystery because many people speak clear and speak simple words and they don't, they don't explain how they get anything. The best way to see and feel what the people is, is just seeing and watching because when, when you big people, when you famous, when you got a lot of money, when you get everything in this life in your way, you don't explain to nobody the truth. Many people don't want to speak, you know, with the words. They want to speak with acting. You got you to gotta see how they acting, know what they say. You see? So, you got you to point and the things that they don't say, and you got to focus and, <laughs> and, and the things that they never show. So I, I don't know if you understand, but it's a lot of mystery around the people. So you got to go by the history and the acting. The more their, now they say, not, not what, whatever they say. Now what you say, more, no. their, more their actions. Yeah, no, no whatever they say, because they don't like to say, you know, what helped me to, to be big in the world, how I get it, you know, how I'm famous, how I, I, I you know, I get the, the top level. Sometimes there are one, nobody knows that. You know, everybody has a secret. So you, you gotta see, you gotta, you gotta focus and, and see why they don't say and what, what they don't do in front, in front of you. I don't, really, I don't know if you understand, but there's some, some mystery. Sure. People never say really and true what they are. People never say how they get it. You know, they always go around and try to explain something and, and let you know 
what they want that you know but you you know you can focus in that you got to focus on the thing that they don't say and the thing that they don't do yeah, a little mystery yeah okay, very interesting it's a little mystery yeah. so let's go to the next image boom uh buddha and we have another one because we want to look at as bomba was saying how are we going to solve the mysteries and so we're going to put on another image for you now and another series of studies and this one is something that we feel but sometimes we don't really are we using this and it's shown that many studies have shown that music lowers your blood pressure you know how many people we see nowadays with high blood pressure taking medications and here we have a study showing actually many studies that music lowers blood pressure and actually also also lowers your heart rate and that when you get stressed which is the opposite of the music relaxing you that obviously it goes up and that the music can lower this stress that you've encountered so now we have two things we have the activity we have the sports and we have the music and it's very interesting when we look at these things like bomba was saying you have to look at beyond the mystery what is really going on and if you look at some of these people who are very successful you see many of them are actually musically oriented they either sing right bomba yeah some of them dance some of them sing and dance some of them compose uh they don't say anything but they're doing it in front of you they don't necessarily tell you how they did it but they're doing that and then you look at them and you say wow look at how handsome that guy looks sir look at how beautiful that woman how does she how does she do that well here and the purpose of the show is to show you some of the things that the studies have shown are they using sports activity are they using music which makes them happier let's go to the next image because there's another one we wanted to put is are they avoiding like bomba said are they avoiding certain environments and here are some studies showing how your environment not your hormones not your genetics but your environment where you're living what you're exposed to and how that environment affects your mental health to me every time i'm with bomba i'm relaxed and i'm happy and you know he and i have a good time doing the show because we create a good environment and it says there that you know we we we, we get less we get less stress look at what it says there because bomba has spoken about this i want to ask him see crime racism pollution all these things affect us they affect our mental well-being they they have an effect and bomba you've spoken a lot about this so i wanted you to maybe give people some some idea of you know because you're a very vocal strong person maybe you can give them some of your mystery and tell them how you feel they can be stronger so they can do something to decrease crime so they can do something to decrease pollution we'll be, put you we'll, on the spot will be will be funny that i'm going to say <laughs> okay. that's very important you know the environmental effect of mental health uh, but i i can see something something else about this uh, where are you living and what's around you we can we can see we can see only only the weather we can see only only the plants we can see only the city we gotta see the person who's living beside you who's your neighbor you gotta see how they acting you gotta see how they are with you because it's not only that point there if you have bad people around you what do you have in front of this how can you explain how, how how can you transfer to live with bad people bad neighborhood 
with this point here. How can you mix it up? Tell you, me. you don't understand? Yeah, tell me. If you have if you have the good people around you, you have nice environment effect, yes. mental and health. You have good well being. Good good emotional. About level. about if I give you food every uh -huh. day, about if I cook for you every day. And I make you feel. And you know what? It, and it, I make you feel good. Years ago, they used to do that. Yeah, and and, and I and I have nice behave with you, but I said to but, but I told bad to my friend about you. That's not great. You know. I'm not honest with you. I make you feel happy just when you we are together. But when I, when I move, I'm different, and I said everything opposite about you. That's one way to see how important it is. Who's around you? It's not only the environment affect the mental health. Many things can affect the mental health, especially who is beside you, who, who, who is living with you. That's right. You gotta, you gotta focus and study that kind of people. Who's living, who's living behind me, in front of me? Who's living together with me? Who's working with me? How, how is the people that were with me that I see every day, that I share every day? That's right. That's worse than that. The emotions. Yeah, the emotions. It's, it's, are they are they honest with you, yeah, or are they more than that. lying behind your back? About about the drugs. Right. About the drugs. About people using drugs. About people injecting, you know, cocaine, marijuana. Right. All all the things. That's like like uh, the environments on the in, in your heart, in your brain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, that's worse than everything. We see that you live in, which people is around you, where you going, what people saying about you, what think of, what do you think about your neighbor, what your wife said about you, what you say about her. You get sick. You get sick. You can be happy with bad people be beside you or around you. You can be happy with false people around you. And you know what? On this point, because we're going to have to go on to this in the next show, because you and I, like always, the time flies when we're together. And unfortunately for this show, We've run out of time and we can't continue, but we have to take a look at what Bomba has said. Who's around you? When you talk about environment, environment is more than just the trees and the buildings. And like you said, do you have somebody you can trust? Do you have a friend like I have next to me here, Bomba Brito? Do you viewers have friends in us so that you can tune in to us and we can very simply share things? Or do you really have enemies who smile, like you said, but behind your back do you in, like the movie Gladiator before they fought in the arena and Caesar put a knife into Gladiator before they went up into the arena, covert, a very devious, horrible human being to have around. But for tonight's show, Bomba, thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Dr. Bernard Fialco. Always, always, you know, when you're, you're here, I love it. And for you watching, if you're stressed and you want to have better well-being, Take a look at sports. Take a look at activity. There's something called take a walk at nighttime. If you can't go to sleep, take a walk. Enjoy the air. Like Bomba said, go with someone that you really care about, who is really your friend, your partner in life. Decrease your stress with music, with your environment. Choose your environment. Don't just work at something if you don't like it, even if it's a lot of money, maybe a little less money 
and a little more well-being mentally and spiritually would be better for you. So let's take a look at how we can implement this in our lives and then also change the environment for others because when we're happy, the world gets happy. And the world needs a little happiness. Thank you for tuning in again tonight. We'll see you at the next episode. Good night. Good night. This show was sponsored by A Time for Truth Foundation Incorporated as a community service. Sometimes life can be so damn hard. You don't know where to go. Everything is falling apart. Try to do your best, but only God knows that you've given everything you've got, but the world takes you down. You just keep moving on, let your feet.